This summary provides insights from the article, How to Invest in Artificial Intelligence, Private Startups or Public Markets, from The Economist. The article delves into the challenges and opportunities of investing in AI, weighing the potential of private AI-focused startups against established public tech giants. Over the past 18 months, tech investors have faced challenges, with SoftBank, a prominent Japanese investment firm, feeling the brunt of changing economic conditions. Despite the challenges, SoftBank's leader, Sun Masayoshi, is keenly interested in artificial intelligence AI, investments. Generative AI platforms, like ChatGPT, are the talk of the investment world. Sun believes that these platforms could be as transformative as the early days of the internet, potentially leading to a new wave of tech giants going public. Investors grapple with two main questions. 1. Which emerging technologies will yield significant returns? 2. Will the profits go to new startups or established tech giants? The tech landscape has shown that being first doesn't always translate to profitability. Often, existing industry leaders capture the most value from groundbreaking innovations. Consider the success of Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta. These tech behemoths, with a combined worth of $3.4 trillion, capitalized on the Internet's early days. Similarly, Alibaba's rise, in which SoftBank had an early stake, showcased the immense value of identifying and leveraging tech trends. However, older companies often missed out on these opportunities. Will history repeat itself with AI? Here, the insights of Clayton Christensen, a renowned management scholar known for his theory of disruptive innovation, offer a perspective. He observed that while smaller companies might innovate in niche markets, large incumbents tend to focus on enhancing existing offerings. These giants aren't technologically inept. They simply prioritize immediate profitability, which can sometimes blind them to disruptive innovations. Sun is bullish on AI-focused startups, anticipating a new era of disruptive innovation. However, the buzz around generative AI has mostly centered on its technological potential rather than its ability to create new markets. Historically, tech incumbents have often been the primary beneficiaries of major innovations. For instance, advances in machine learning, a subset of AI, have largely benefited established players like Microsoft, Nvidia, and Micron, rather than giving rise to new industry leaders. Christensen emphasized that not all groundbreaking innovations translate to business success. With current tech giants heavily investing in AI, they might be in a prime position to benefit if AI reshapes industries. Consequently, investing in a diversified fund of existing tech giants might yield better returns than betting solely on AI-centric startups. In the end, understanding the nature of innovation is crucial. Will the next tech superstars emerge from the AI startup scene, or will existing giants further solidify their dominance? Current indications suggest that established tech firms might add AI's market value to their already impressive portfolios. Thanks for watching. From Gramercy Strategic Capital.